What'd you make here today? <laughs> Koi, look at that, even fancy. Nice sanki there. Love the little arbor that she made. Look at this, hey, bookies. Mm. We've turned it up a few times and people come by and they say, how come your water features aren't running? The neighbors love it just walking by, yeah. huh? The littlest dog with the loudest bark. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Well, hello. Lynn, Miss Delectable Desserts. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is the better half of Lee Frisbee. And uh, we are out in Rochester, New York. Gosh, we must be a couple hundred yards from Lake Ontario, huh? And the bags right this there. This is too. beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Oh, look at the bikes. Oh my goodness. I like it. Hey, there's my speed right there with the basket. I'll just take this one out. So you used to work with your husband, but you I said, did. I'm gonna bake instead. I did, I did it in another life. I did it for 10 years and then I went back to dentistry when I had an abrupt change of life and I said, okay, enough with the teeth, I'm going back to baking. So we built a kitchen and there I am. This is Cuddles, hi Cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your CAC fridge. How many years have you lived here? 10. 10 years. Yeah. So this is how the Frisbees live the aquascape lifestyle, huh? Oh man, you've even got a fire going. Oh, this looks great, the shade cloths. Hey, the whole team's over here, huh? Yeah. Hey, is it fun when the pond guy comes in because you can start late? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's everybody's names? I'm Jacob. Hey, Jacob, how long have you been on the team? Two months. Okay, new guy? Yeah. I'm Jack, I'm the foreman, I've been here eight years. Yeah, I remember you. Hi, Jack, how you doing? Awesome. Sarah? Granddaughter. Granddaughter, yeah, you are old. Yeah. <laughs> so you're out working with the guys, huh? Yeah. Good for you, good for you. When we moved here, nothing was here. The decks weren't here. No decks, no gardens. It was the bakery, wet grass. Yep. The bakery wasn't here. So we first came, we put up the privacy fence. Yep. And Lynn had to have water because her family was building ponds like all her life. So she put a drop in in here. Wouldn't even let me help because she had to have water <laughs> even though we're on Braddock's Bay in Lake Ontario. So you were the first one. It's different. I was the first yeah. one. So you really turned him on to this. Yeah. I did. He always said that when he lived, he his old house is one street over. And he always said that he wanted to have a pond, but he never got the time. And I said, well, guess what? We'll have the time now. Because my mom, from the time I can remember, my mom built fish ponds everywhere in our yard. That's great. So, so you kind of grew up in the hobby. I grew up in the hobby. Then I got Lee into it after my one little venture. And then Were you working as a paramedic, Lee? I was. Yeah. yeah. Was. And after that was built, she says, we got to go buy fish. So we went to go buy fish. And I was like, <laughs> hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. I couldn't get enough of it. I started buying books and books. Then they were buying me books on koi and ponds and all stuff like that. And then he called me the the koi monster because that's all I could think about. It was the next summer. We built this pond over here. It's right, the roughly. very first one. First one I ever built. Yep. Uh-huh. Which was when? How long ago was that? 2011. Our yep. first pandemonium was 2012. Okay. Is that where I saw you for your tattoos? Yes. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love the tats. Ball garden. <laughs> <laughs> we put the decks on and everything. We had the shed put in. It was all a result of putting in the bakery because then we needed walkway, then we needed more patio space, we yeah. put in the pavilion, because then we needed seating with shade, because as you can see, we have no trees in this yard. Yep. The last windstorm, we had one huge pine right directly behind the waterfall over there. I watched it go over, 
And right. we thought it was going to take out the back side of our pond. Then we needed to create shade, so we created shade here. We use wind sails, we use umbrellas. I built an arbor. Oh, that's early, beautiful, early yep. This spring. So you still like to get your hands dirty outside of the kitchen as well. I do. Day. All right, so here's the bakery, huh? Yeah, come on in, welcome. Not a bad view for your bakery, wow. Not a bad view. I love it. When we were building, I wanted windows, windows. Uh -huh. And the guy said, you realize you're putting in a nine foot bank of windows that's approximately five feet tall. And I said, absolutely. And he said, why do you want that? I said, come see my view. So these are all the cookies. These are all the cookie cutters, pans and Everything you can see, just about every inch of space is utilized. So you're making a lot of these for events, private events? events. Private events, wedding cakes, all occasion cakes, Italian cookies, everything, eclairs, cream puffs. That's awesome. All yeah. right, so what's for breakfast? What's for breakfast? What would you like? <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. You know, so people There's still graduate and they still have to have a party. They're still having events, they're just smaller. Amen. Oh, those look really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got a scalloped urn here. Yep, that was in uh, the garden show that we did a couple years ago. That was our first things we bought for the garden show. I wanted to do the stolen, but Lynn wanted the scalloped one after it was introduced at Pandemonium. I bet you the birds love this. The birds love it. The Oreos are in there all the time. Shallow, slow-moving water. Love the little arbor that she made, that Lynn made. Oh, look at this! Hey, butkus! <laughs> oh my gosh! There's the attitude one, huh? Yeah. What a beautiful pup. I love the markings. He's a pit bull rescue. You got to stay down. Hey, you are such a sweetheart. Have you heard of Oliver the Pond Cat? No. He's got his own Facebook page. Oliver the Pond Cat, okay. <laughs> What's the story with Oliver the Pond Cat? Feral rescue we got uh, last year, bottle fed. I've been looking for a, an orange uh, male for several years after we lost one. And one of the neighbors says, we got one. And we bottle fed him. This is Oliver, the Hi, crazy Oliver. man. <laughs> Oliver the podcast. What a little paradise you guys have. What do people say that come over for the first time? They can't believe it. They can't believe what's back here by looking at the front of the house. Yeah, you would never guess. Slice of heaven. Hey! <laughs> the littlest dog with the loudest bark. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. What a sweetheart, what a sweetheart. So many little vignettes in this yard. So when a gas company screwed up our driveway, they said, let's build a pond right here. So we dug down a deep end next to the garden and put this in for like goldfish and shabunkins and stuff. Yeah. It's really on the driveway. Yeah. It's a little filtration. The pond could go anywhere, right? Yep. The bubbling boulder here. And then uh, this is the backyard waterfall kit that we put in two years ago. What's amazing is this is not a huge yard, but there's so much interest and so much going on. I love these little seats right here, the little sound of a pondless waterfall right up in the front. And actually, we've turned it up a few times and people come by and they say, how come your water features aren't running? The neighbors love it just walking by, yep. huh? Everything runs. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Just to show people that you can run these all year long. Right? Even in Rochester. Even in Rochester. What's amazing is how much bigger a water feature makes a space feel. There's so many different vignettes. Every turn and twist, there's another little water feature, another seating area, another shaded area from the sun. But a standard backyard that you can see everything at once never feels as big as a backyard that has so many twists and turns and everything else. Let's just look at the neighbor's backyard for an example. Same size backyard but yet totally different feel. This one feels so much bigger with all of Lynn's little decorations and just the different twists and turns. I mean, who's not gonna wanna walk up that patio when they've got that sort of pergola to walk underneath and then just the seating areas. Just so much more enjoyment than grass. And we don't even have the fire going anymore. So there it is, the iconic Kodak building 
in downtown Rochester that used to be, God, probably, how many people do you think worked there at one time? It was like 80,000. 80,000 people and uh, just a shell of its former self and now it's a community college and you right out of the Marines came and worked there. What'd you do at uh, Kodak there, Lee? I worked at the paper mill and making paper and uh, putting the plastic coating on it. So for people that are watching the vlog that don't, doesn't know what paper is, can you explain what paper was? Oh, uh, it's photographic paper. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was kidding. So this is now a college. It's kind of sad because this was the employer out here, right, in Rochester? They were the employer. If somebody in your family didn't work for Kodak, the next door neighbors did. All right, so driving by and I said, let's go check out the Kodak building, especially because you used to work there and this is just downtown Rochester. So Lee, you having a fun day? I'm having a great day.